um, a review on drugstore hair coloring, I guess. I got home hair coloring. Um, I've been dyeing my hair now by myself at home for almost four years. Um, I've used things from Revlon to Clairol to Nice and Easy to Garnier. Um, I have used about, f um, hang on, I have them right here actually. One, two, about five different brands or types of products. Um, I have quite a bit of experience. I know what works for me and what doesn't. Um, I've just dyed my hair last night, so that's why, kind of why I got the idea to do this video. And I'll talk about the one I used last night. I'll talk about the ones I've used in the past. And just kind of to give you guys an idea of how long each one lasts, um, what comes with them, um, just different things about them, the prices, the price range and stuff. A lot of times hair coloring is on sale, though, so you can probably get one that's more expensive for cheaper. And sometimes you're buying one get one half off, so you can get one and save it for the future and stuff like that. I'll also show you guys my natural hair color. Um, I naturally have like a really light brown ashy kind of color. It really washed me out. Um, I just really didn't like it. I tried to lighten it once to be more blonde, but it really didn't work out because it was just so ashy. Like blonde wouldn't even look good with it. It has to be more of like a golden color. I think it looks better at my skin tone and my eyes. Um, but if you want, I actually, you know, I'll just flash a picture of like my eighth grade dance photo um, somewhere in this video, like right after right now, probably. Um... It's a really old picture, so don't judge, but that's like going to be the only picture I have that shows my old hair color. Um, but for the last four years, since I was about 16, um, I got my braces off and I dyed my hair and I totally transformed. Um, and when I dyed my hair, I, the first time I dyed it, it was really, really, really dark, like purple almost, so dark brown. Um, it faded pretty quickly. Like the, I've noticed that when you color your hair at home, almost every single one I've used within the first week, between like five to seven days, the darkness of the color when you're like, whoa, that's so intense. Not only do you get more used to it, but it fades within a week, like the major, like intense shade, and then it turns more natural. Like I did my hair last night, and I don't know if you guys can notice the difference from my old videos, because I did use about three shades darker than what I've been using throughout the summer in all my other videos. But um, it kind of, you can tell it looks kind of unnatural, kind of too dark. But in a couple of days it'll lighten up, and I also did this because I'm about to go on vacation, and the sun will definitely lighten it up a little bit faster. Um, but so, I'm just letting you guys know these are my experiences, my opinions, my hair is different than yours, um, might not be, but um, my hair is different, it's my opinion, this things that I don't like may work perfect for you guys. Um, this is just my opinions and you know, this is just something that maybe it'll help you guys pick out, like, figure out which one you want to buy. Um, and I'm just going to go straight through my list here. Um, and in between each photo, each um, product I talk about, I will flash a picture of it so that you not only know the name of it, but you know the picture, and the picture won't be of the color. Um, I'm going to tell you all the colors I've used of each brand. Um, when I think of each one, which one's my favorite and stuff like that, um, obviously if you're dyeing your hair blonde, you might want to be a little bit more concerned about doing it at home. I'd say try doing it. If you have like, darker hair, definitely try doing it at the salon because blonde can really damage your hair doing it at home and it could come out kind of orange. Um, and then if you're going to go dark, that's pretty easy to do at home. That's what I did. I always went darker. And then when I had to go lighter, um, it's not that hard if you're going like two shades lighter. But if you're going like super light, I de definitely recommend going to a salon and having a professional do it. But um, anyways, what I was going to say is I'm going to flash a picture of the box, of what the box looks like. So when you go to the store, you know what it looks like um, in between like each time I mention a product. Um, but so let's just get started. Um, I'm going to first talk about the Clairol Nice and Easy. <laughs> Um, that's the one I used last night, Clairol, nice and easy brand, the one that says a color blend technology. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the one with that woman on the commercial with the really blonde hair. Um, last night I used the color 112 Natural Dark Auburn, um, and it came out like pretty reddish. I mean, the camera kind of picks up more red. It's not really as red as it looks. It kind of looks more dark brown. Um, I prefer my hair darker than lighter. Um, I do kind of lighten it during the summer a lot because I feel like dark is just like kind of... I don't know, sad during the summer, but I do plan on getting pretty tan this week when I go on vacation, and I know it'll light, the sun will lighten my hair a little bit, and also when school comes up, I don't want my hair to be freshly dyed, because that kind of looks like fake the first couple of days, and I want it to kind of fade a little bit, um, but to get into this actual product, um, I've used the color 111 Natural Medium Auburn from Clairol Nice and Easy before, which I do like a lot, but it's harder to find. For some reason, they always have 112 in the store and never 111, and it's only one shade difference, so it's really not that big of a deal. But um, for the fall, I do prefer the darker one, so I picked 112. Um, I do really love this color. The colors um, in the Clairol Nice and Easy, I think, are a really great selection. A lot of brands have, like, 
three or five, even five different colors that almost look exactly the same to me. Um, and that's just kind of boring. Like, I really don't like the plain, plain kind of brown. It's too, like, ashy for me. Um, I do really like caramel and, like, golden browns, but for some reason on the box, they just don't look gold enough, um, or natural enough, so I just prefer not to get those. I really like almost all the colors I've ever used are either golden, caramel, or auburn. I think every single one almost is auburn. Um, except for the first time I dyed my hair and a few times in between. But, um, I used this last night, and I have used this before in the 111 color, um, quite a while ago. Um, I think this, the only thing I don't like about this is the smell. It smells terrible. I mean, I did this last night at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning, and, um, I wanted to vomit. Like, when you breathe it in, you feel like you should be wearing some kind of a mask. It smells so strong. It's, like, overpowering. You want to open every window in the house. It is terrible. Um, I forgot, I guess, when I bought this one that that's what this one was, but it smells so bad. Like, I don't even want to repurchase it just because of that. I do have a favorite. This definitely isn't my favorite brand, but, um, I really like the color selection in this brand. I wish it just didn't smell so bad, and it's one of the higher-priced ones. Um, obviously, it's a drugstore, so this is um, usually around $7.99. I'm going by CVS prices because that's usually where I buy my hair dye. Um, but this one was about $7.99. Sometimes it'll go on sale and stuff like that, but the regular price that it shows online is $7.99. Um, and there's about enough in it to cover my head. I kind of was starting to run out. I had to like, open the top part and like stick my finger in and try to get some more out. Um, but my hair has been gotten quite long. Um, the thing about this color is, like, right now it does look pretty dark. I've had some that don't look too dark when you first dye them. Um, I mean, the good thing about this also is that it comes with um, the conditioner that comes with it that you're supposed to use when you want, when you rinse the color out. Um, it's a tube of reclosables, and it lasts about a week. Um, you only really need a tiny little bit. It makes your hair feel so soft, and it lasts a week, so that's pretty good for the price. You get a week long of conditioner, which is really good. And sometimes if you do it maybe every other day or um, even every two, three days. Um, it'll last a lot longer, and that's really great because a lot of them just come with like a one-day treatment conditioner. Um, it's like a one that you rip open, and you really can't save that. Um, but another thing about this I don't like is the um, the gloves that they give you with this with this um, little box. Um, they're very thin. I mean, they look pretty like better than the other ones I've used, but I've noticed that like, right in here. When I was done coloring, after I took the gloves off, there was a bit of like a purple stain, and it did come off easily. You just use extra color that you have and rub it on, and color takes off color. I don't really know how that works, but I've heard it, and it works. Um, but that's kind of annoying, and this one, for some reason, the bottle has a bit more of an open spout where you squirt the color out, um, and it kind of got on my neck, and I had to deal with that and stuff, but... This color lasts over six weeks, and that's what's really great about this one. I think it's because it smells so strong. It is a bit of a stronger product, and it lasts quite a bit longer. Um, I just, this probably won't be the one that I always reach for. If they have it on sale, I'll probably get this one. It's just the smell is so strong, and I don't know. I wouldn't recommend this as your first time coloring because it's so strong, and it will last so long. But um, it is a really good product, so if you've colored your hair before and you're just looking for a new one, or if you get your hair colored professionally and you want to start doing it yourself, I definitely recommend this brand. Um, just maybe wear a mask or open all the windows or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's it for the Clairol, Clairol Nice and Easy. And then now I'm going to go to the Clairol Root Touch-Up. Um, you've probably seen this on the commercial too. It's the same like blonde woman going and like popping into the mirror and she's like, Hey, like you have to touch up your roots, or whatever she says. Um, but I've used that once before. I was a couple, maybe like three, four months ago, I think. Um, I used the color 5R, RB, medium auburn, medium reddish brown. It's supposed to match every color um, that's any kind of in that, like, range. Um, and the thing is, when I was using this root touch-up, I had just used the 111 Clairol Nice and Easy of the same brand. So I thought, you know, this will definitely match. And even on the side of the box for the root touch-up, it said the color that I had been using. So I assumed that it would match perfectly, and I did it, and I was really looking forward to it. And it was way too dark. I mean, my roots from about, like, in here in, because my natural hair is so off from the color that I dye my hair, it looks very strange. It makes my roots look almost gray because my hair is so ashy colored. Um, and from about here to here, when I dyed with the root touch-up, it was so dark for about three weeks, which was terrible. It only lasted about four weeks. It washed out very quickly. It was really strong and dark for about three weeks, and then it washed out completely, and it went back to my normal blonde color, like light ash color or whatever. So I would not recommend the root touch-up. And also, it is only 50 cents cheaper than the full head Clairol Nice and Easy. Um, coloring. So I'd recommend, even if you're just doing your roots, to buy that one. It's only 50 cents more. You have more product, and you're definitely going to get your color 
more likely there than you are in the root touch up one. Um, also, the root touch up one, um, it does, I don't know, there's just a lot of things that I don't like about that. There's not a lot of product in it. I mean, if you have really thick hair, you might not even be able to cover all your roots. Um, and I just wouldn't recommend the root touch up. Um, if you have gray hair, maybe, or if you maybe dye your hair a solid black color. I guess it'll match, but when you're doing dealing with kind of like a reddish tone, it did not seem to work for me at all. And that's it for that. And then Garnier Herbishine, Herbishine, Herbishine. I'm not sure. Herbishine Color Creme. The next one, I use that. I've only used this once. Um, I use in the color 645 Copper Mahogany Brown. It's a quite dark color. It almost had like a purple hint to it. Um, it's about 850. It is the most expensive one that I've used. Um, and it is the worst one that I've used by far. Um, it made my head itch, my face, even around here, started to turn really, really red. I was so, so itchy, and I'm usually not allergic to Garnier, um, products. I don't like their shampoos either. They just make my hair really oily, all of them. But, um, I used it because I had helped my friend dye her hair with it, and she loved it, and I thought, hey, well, why not try it? I think it was on sale when I bought it. I think that might be one of the reasons I got it. But normally it's 850, around 850 anyway. And um, it made my hair so itchy. I mean, my whole scalp was itchy for like a whole week straight. And it didn't come out, and I just was really disappointed with it. Um, the color did come out a lot darker than the box, too. And I was recoloring my hair from like a faded color from, I think, a Revlon one that I've used. Um, so it wasn't going straight from my like light, light brown color. It was going from like a faded version of the color I was dyeing it. And it was just so dark, it came out so purple, and it took a really long time to fade into a more natural looking color. Um, it's definitely not worth the money. It only lasts about four weeks too. I mean, it took a long time to fade into a natural color, but then it faded very quickly after it faded into a natural color. So, I don't know, that wasn't very good. And it smells pretty strong, and it's just not my favorite. The only good thing is that the conditioner that comes with it is one of the reclosable tubes that lasts about a week, so that's good. But that's really the only good thing about it. I would definitely not recommend that one. If you really love Garnier products, it might work for you, but it did not work for me at all. And then the last two are my favorites, and these two are the ones I always kind of reach for, um, that I'm always looking for. This is the brand that's cheapest, and it works the best for me. It lasts long, not the longest, but, um, lasts long with the price, and, like, it doesn't have a bad smell or anything. It's the Revlon Color Silk and Revlon Color Silk Luminista. Um, either one of them, really. Um, the only thing about these is that I've noticed, or at least around me, the colors I use are always not in the store. Um, I have used about one, two, three, four different colors in the Color Silk, and then just one in the Color Silk Luminista, and I will explain the difference between the two in a minute. But, um, I've noticed that this coloring lasts about five weeks. Um, I usually color my hair every six to eight weeks, depending on how lazy I'm being, or if I'm going somewhere, or anything like that. Um, this is the one I've used the most, definitely. Um, it is the cheapest. It's only about $4.50 at CVS, which is great. And it, sometimes it goes on sale for buy one, get one free, buy one, get one 50% off or something. So that's really great, too. So if you know what color you are, you can pick up two at once or whatever. It smells pretty normal. It's not like a really overpowering smell. It does come out of the bottle quite hard. You have to kind of rip the top open, and it kind of, you can have a small hole or a big hole, and you never really know what you're going to get. But, um... It's easy to mix. It doesn't smell too strong or anything. Um, the gloves that come with it are really good. They don't, like, your color doesn't sink through under your skin or anything. The only negative about it is that it comes with a one-time only use conditioner. It's one of the ones that you rip open and you can use it once and you really can't reuse it. Um, but it does make your hair feel so soft. I think it smells the best. Like, your hair smells really good the next day or the right after when you blow dry it or whatever. Um, it's definitely my most used product, the Re Revlon Color Silk. It's the cheapest. It's just the easiest for me. Um, also, I'm going to give you the list of all the colors I've used. The first color I ever dyed my hair in junior year of high school when I was 16 years old, right after I got my braced off, was 30 dark brown. Um, it's a very, very dark brown, almost black. Um, I don't know why I chose such a dark color going from so light to so dark, and for about three weeks it was very, very dark. Um, it was almost purple, like that, you know, that kind of purple mahogany color that I did not want. Um, I think it just happened because I had never dyed my hair before and I chose such a dark color. I kind of should have went a little bit more subtly, slowly leading up to a darker color. But um, I, there's a reason I kept recoloring my hair. It did come out good after about three weeks of fading and becoming more of like a coppery color. I really, really loved it. I thought it looked great on me. Everyone always complimented it. They thought my blue eyes really stuck out and I really, really loved the color. Um, and I just really love that product. Um, it's, so, it's just cheapest and good. Like you're really saving a lot of money on something that 
you can you can do it yourself. It comes. It doesn't have as many highlights as some different brands do, but um, that's not really a big deal for me. Like eventually the sun will like affect it and look more natural. Um, I've also used 32 dark mahogany brown, which is also a more purpley kind of color. I have been like going, trying to s slowly go into lighter colors, like a golden caramel brown instead of such a red auburny color. Um, my favorite one by far is by color Revlon Color Silk 46 Medium Chestnut Brown. It's more of like a like a caramel color. It's not so like orange like when it fades. It doesn't look like red. It looks just more kind of like a goldeny brown. Um, but it's really hard to find. I can hardly ever find that one in, in any store. I never see it anywhere, um, and that's why I haven't used it. I think I used it once and I was obsessed with it. And I just can never find it again. Uh, but that's definitely my favorite color by far. If I could find that one all the time, I would totally reuse that one. It's just like a nice dark golden brown um, with a hint kind of like a red undertone um, and it fades into a nice color it doesn't fade into like a strange color and that one I also noticed that like when my roots come in it doesn't look so crazy like right now if my roots were growing in they would look like massively like gray and like I don't know just not good um, and then I've also used 37 dark golden brown which wasn't really my favorite it was too like dark and didn't have enough of like the chestnutty color in it um, but yeah, so th that was that, and then Revlon Color Silk Luminista. That's the same thing as Revlon Color Silk, only it's for people who have dark hair, and they're trying to either lighten it or darken it or whatever, it's just for people who have naturally dark hair. I have used it because I was trying to go from a color like this into like a more golden light brown color, just for the summer, and I really did like it. Um, it was a little bit too light for what I like, um, but I used the color like Golden Brown 170, it's only 189 so about 25 cents, a little bit more, 30 cents more than the regular Revlon Color Silk. Um, it lasts about five weeks, the same as the Color Silk. Um, it still only comes with the um, one-time use conditioner. Um, I have all my little notes right here, so that's why I'm looking down. Um, I used this color beginning of summer, so this is the color that I used throughout almost all my videos so far. I used it right before I started filming, and then at one point in between filming. Um, this one, that one fades, I feel like, a little bit faster, the Luminista one. Um, not really fades, but kind of, um, I don't know, it gives off a more orangey tone, at least this color I used did. Um, it was very dark the first day, and then like right after the first day, as soon as I stopped using that conditioner and just used my regular shampoo and stuff, it faded very quickly. It turned very kind of orange, and my roots really stuck out when they started growing in. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to try to stick with the Revlon Color Silk. I'd say that's number one. It's the cheapest one if you're first color dyeing, first time, first color dyeing. First time you're coloring your hair, I definitely recommend it. It's cheap and it's easy. They also make a semi-permanent color too, so I'd recommend using that. Um, and yeah, so that's all my different little review, mini reviews and recommendations and stuff. I wish that I had known this. I wish someone had done this video for me when I first started coloring my hair, so I really help, hope that it helped you guys. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions about any of these products, anything that I didn't answer, or um, just any recommendations or anything like that, please let me know. Um, if you have any video requests, please let me know. And this might be one of my last videos that I put up before I go on vacation, or it might be the first one I put up when I get back. But today is the 10th, and tomorrow I'm leaving for vacation, so tonight will be the last night I put up any, any videos. So if you guys have any requests of videos you'd like me to do when I get back from vacation, please, please let me know. Any lookalikes for makeup, for hair, um, anything like that at all, please let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Semi per the semi, but um, <laughs> yeah. So um, you if the, that's um, and if I don't put this up before vacation, I'm always gonna cut the part out. <laughs>